If you're a vegan or vegetarian and you're craving like a really warm comfort meal, you have to watch this video because I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to make a really simple, yummy comfort meal. Hey guys, it's Dr. Mona, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a meal that I've actually been making for years, even before I was vegan or vegetarian. Just so simple and warming and grounding, and I thought this was important to share because a lot of you reach out to me who are newly vegan or vegetarian or want to go vegan or vegetarian and don't want to just eat cold salads or fruit, even just cold food in general. Like sometimes your body craves like warm food. And it's a complete myth that if you're plant-based, you have to only eat salads and raw veggies. So I wanna show you this like really yummy, comforting meal that you can enjoy, your whole family will enjoy. It's even got some quinoa, which kind of feels like rice. Like it's all around just a really filling meal. Here are the ingredients we're using. We've got some onions and garlic pre-chopped. We've got zucchini, broccoli, mushrooms, a can of tomato sauce. Definitely try to get this uh, with no sodium or low sodium. And then we've got a little bit of sesame oil, celery, and I think I said quinoa. When it comes to the veggies, you can really make this your own. I love this combination of veggies, but you could add in whatever you want. You'll see it's something you can just make your own. The first thing I wanna do is start sauteing the onions and garlic, because that's something you wanna let sit first. We're just gonna put like a dash of oil, and when we let that kind of brown and cook a little bit, all the other food is gonna really like absorb the flavors. Okay, so we're adding in the garlic. And you can do like one clove of garlic, you can do one onion, half an onion. This is all, trust me, I'm not a good cook. If you follow my channel, you know that I'm a very amateur cook. But onions and garlic are really just something you can add as little or as much as you want. I would say no more than one onion though, because that might be a little overkill. So we add them to the pot. We're gonna use sesame oil. We're gonna cook it on low heat, just like a light saute. So sesame oil is okay to use. Add a low heat, about like a teaspoon or tablespoon. Let that cook, oops, use the wrong one. Okay, so we're gonna let that cook a little bit and you'll start to smell it, it's very fragrant. I actually love the smell of onions and garlic cooking, kind of reminds me of when my mom used to cook when I was growing up. I think it smells great. Some people don't like it, you can test that out and see. It definitely gives your house a pretty strong smell, but I enjoy it, so hopefully you will too. I'm gonna chop this celery next because celery um, is harder, it takes a longer time to cook, so as soon as those saute for like five, 10 minutes, I'll add the celery next, and then we'll do the softer veggies after. Okay, and as you can see, this is not fussy. Some of them are bigger sizes, some of them are smaller. Probably why I don't usually cook for big dinner parties, because I don't make it look that good, but it will taste good. The, the main like sauce or broth to this is, like I said, it's tomato sauce. Well, what we're gonna do is do one can of tomato sauce and then one can of water. So you actually end up diluting it, so it's a little more, it's like a thinner consistency. And it actually makes you have to use less oil. I only put a little touch of oil to just kind of get the flavors going, but pretty soon after I'm gonna add this sauce, then you, you know, a lot of times oil is there so that you don't burn it. You can't just cook vegetables like on a pan. Um, so the tomato sauce kind of takes up that need for oil, so it makes it a lot healthier. I know everyone always assumes that raw food is the best because it holds the most nutrients, but there actually are certain vegetables that are better for you when they're cooked. Mushrooms are one of them. They're much better for you cooked, and tomatoes are one of them because they bring out more lycopene. So cooking tomatoes is actually a little more beneficial than having raw tomatoes. So all around, this is kind of a power meal. So those are still cooking right there. I'm gonna chop this broccoli. So I don't know about you guys, but one of the reasons I don't cook as much is I'm the kind of person that has to know exactly how much to put or I feel like I mess it up. That's why all these meals I share are very easy and convenient because it doesn't matter. Even if you put the broccoli in at the same time as the celery, it really doesn't matter. It all ends up tasting really good. So this is not a fussy, difficult meal. So now we're gonna add in the broccoli. Another thing we should just cover is, you know, if you're eating vegan or vegetarian, are you getting enough protein? Is it gonna fill you up? So let's just talk about that really quick. You're definitely getting enough protein in this meal. Not every meal has to be so full of protein. In fact, I think protein's very overrated in our diets in general, but quinoa is a great source of plant-based protein. You know, a fourth a cup has five grams in it. Broccoli has natural protein, like vegetables have it too. Um, you're getting a ton of fiber, you're getting a ton of antioxidants, so this really is an amazing, fulfilling meal. I actually think that your kids would like it too. Sometimes just putting it in front of them and not telling them what it is, it, and just let them eat it. If they know it's healthy, they might not like it as much. 
Now I'm going to just chop the zucchini. I usually like to just uh, slice it in half and then like put it in halves. Also because then for the whole dish, you know, this serves, I don't know, four people maybe, you get more bites of zucchini. So it's not just a few bites in there. I like adding a lot of mushrooms because I love mushrooms. They're one of my favorite food. So I'm using a whole pack of organic white mushrooms. And all of this is pre-washed. Okay, now we've got our zucchini, our mushrooms. So this whole process has all been under, I'd say under eight minutes so far, 10 minutes. They haven't been cooking that long. I'm gonna go ahead and add the tomato sauce now. Just quick note on the onions and garlic. This is especially good because this is a warm dish to do in the winter time, in the fall time. There's so many health benefits to onions and garlic. They've got antibacterial, antiviral, antioxidants. Some people, you know, even take garlic in the form of pills. And it's really a win-win there because they add so much flavor. So any dish you're making, I highly recommend adding onions and garlic. I personally don't like the taste of onions raw. A lot of people do, so I like to cook them. So we're gonna do one can of tomato sauce and one can of water, so it's equal parts. So if you're ever making a bigger portion of this, and when you, if you want to know portion size, when you see the veggies, they should be about, like they should be covered by the tomato sauce. So there shouldn't be them above it. They're kind of cooking in like, almost like a simmering soup or something. Okay, next we're gonna cook the quinoa. You can actually do this first if you want to, um, and you want to have it aside. It just cooks so quickly, it doesn't matter. Quinoa is always half the amount to water. So what, like a half a cup of quinoa, one cup of water. You could do one cup of quinoa, two cups of water. So we're doing a half a cup of quinoa. We're gonna rinse it. Always make sure you rinse this first. So we have half a cup of quinoa, one cup of water. You're just gonna let that come to a boil. As soon as it boils, you will turn the heat down and put it on like a low simmer, and it'll take about 15 minutes to cook. So I definitely say maybe start that one first. That will make the whole meal quicker. And literally, this is done. If you, also, vegetables, you don't have to worry about you know, making sure you cook them all the way because you can eat them raw or cooked. So you just kind of let this sit and simmer until they're soft enough to your preference and then the quinoa is done and then you have your meal to go. From this point, you can add whatever spices you want. You definitely get a lot of flavor from the onions and garlic, but I'll probably do some pepper, some coriander, some fresh basil, whatever you want. You can really make this your own. I do recommend like trying to avoid salt when you're spicing because there's so many other natural flavors that can bring it out. You don't really don't need sodium in this. We're already getting enough in the snacks and other things we have throughout the day. So try not to use too much salt in it. Um, a little is okay. But that's it. That's your easy meal. It's so warm and comforting. Again, you can also throw on like some organic spinach or kale. Like that will cook in five minutes. It just kind of wilts on top. You can really make this your own, add as many veggies as you want. It's a really easy meal in the winter, fall. I wanted to show you guys just how quick and easy it is to make something at home, especially like, you know, ordering out. If you don't know what to make, if you don't, if you're in a rush and you come home from work and you're really hungry, it's so simple. These are things you can just keep in your fridge, always have quinoa stocked. So just a good meal to go. If you guys like this video, I try, like I said, I tried to make something really quick. Let me know. I can do more of these fast, easy recipes on the go. Let me know what else you want me to film, more cooking videos, more health videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.